Hello everyone in this lesson. We will learn more about custom queries in particular. We will learn how to control the way that the retrieved or queried posts get ordered or sorted. The topic will make more sense once we dive into an example. So let's do that right now. On our home page, let's focus on the upcoming events at the moment. The ordering of these two posts is controlled by their published dates. The ones that I authored and created the most recently show up on top. But what if instead we wanted to sort the posts alphabetically by their title or we wanted them to be ordered randomly on every page refresh? Or better yet we wanted to order them by their event date? Well, all of that and more is possible. Custom queries are super flexible. So to learn more about this, let's jump into our text editor and within your theme folder. I want you to jump into frontpage.php and the first real bit of PHP we see in this file is right here and this is our custom query at the moment we only have two arguments so we're saying give us two posts and only give us posts that are of the post type event but we can add another argument maybe add a comma here in the new line and we can use the parameter named order by and now we can control the ordering of the posts by default. This is set to post date, meaning the date that the post was created or published. So if we saved this, we wouldn't see any difference because this is already the default behavior of WordPress but we could change this to title. And then where the press will order the posts alphabetically by their title. Now before we save this, why don't we change posts per page from 2 to negative 1? Negative 1 is our way of telling WordPress. Just give us all posts that meet these conditions. Right? So instead of setting this to 5 or 10 or 100 if you just set it to negative 1, that will return everything that meets your query all at once. In just a few minutes we can switch this back to 2. So our home page design falls back into place. But I think this will be fun to experiment with. So if we save that, you can see that. I've only total event posts. But more importantly, notice the ordering of them. They are now in reverse alphabetical ordering and that's because we set order by two. Title. Now you might be wondering why are they in reverse alphabetical instead of just alphabetical? Well, to answer that. Let's add on another argument here and let's use the paren named order by default. This is set to descending, right? Because if we think of WordPress's default behavior of showing the most recently published posts first. Really what's going on there is it's showing the post with the largest date number but if we want to sort by title alphabetically, we don't want descending order. We want ascending order. So if we save that, Cool now they are in true alphabetical order. And if instead you wanted them to be in a random order every time you refresh the page we could just change order by two rand for random. Cool. So now they switch every time you reload the page you get the idea. Except that's not what we want. Nor do we want to sort them alphabetically. What we really want is to sort them by their event date. Right? If you think about it, upcoming events really just means the events with an event date that is closest to today's date. Now before we go ahead and learn how to sort by a custom field value, I first want to make sure that our test data and experiment makes sense. Let me show you what I mean. So if we order by back to its default value of post underscore date, I didn't do this intentionally. But when I set the event dates for my three example posts, they already sort of look like they are in order. Right June 29th, June 30th, July 20th. And that wasn't by design. That was just trend. Now what I'm going to do and feel free to follow along, I'm going to go in and edit the event date for this science of cats event and set its event date way farther in the future. Dot so that way we can clearly see that these are not in any sort of event date ordering yet. So in my admin going to events. The science of cats and also its event. 
date to sometime in September way out in the future. Ok, so now if I refresh, cool, so now we can clearly see that these are not being ordered. By their event date at the moment. They're being ordered by their published or created on date. And remember we set the order to ascending instead of descending. So. That's why we see the most recently created post down at the bottom. But let's get back to our real goal. If this is truly upcoming events, we want to order things by the event date, our custom field. So let me show you how to do that for our order by value instead of post date or title or rand for random instead. Let's set this to meta underscore value. You're probably wondering what meta means in WordPress metadata is all of the extra or custom additional data associated with the post. So we're saying we want to order things by the value of a piece of metadata in this case a meta or custom field. Now if you set the order by two meta value, you need to be sure to add on another parameter named meta key. And this is where we spell out specifically the name of the custom field that we're interested in. So obviously remember the name of the field is event underscore date. Now I do want to point out that meta value is how we tell WordPress that we want to order by a meta key. And meta value is well suited if you're sorting letters and words. But in this case since we're going to be sorting numbers, write a date is just a set of numbers instead of meta value. Let's use meta value underscore num as in number. Ok, so with this new custom query in place, let's go ahead and save this and check out the website. Dot cool. So we can see the September one that's way in the future gets moved down to the bottom and all three events are now correctly ordered by their event date. Here is not yet complete. While it's true that we are ordering from the oldest event date to the most futuristic event date. What would happen once an event date is, in the past? So for example, as I'm filming this, what if the current date today was July 1st? Well in that case we wouldn't want to show this event, right, is upcoming events. So we want to hide or not even query in the first place events that took place in the past. Now before we learn how to write the code to filter out event dates from the past, let's first make sure that we have at least one test item. So right now I'm going to go edit math, meet up and set its event sometime in 2016 just to prove my point. So math meet up and let's set the event date back to 2016 June 1. Dot OK. So clearly this event has no business showing up under upcoming events. So how can we write code in our custom query to filter out past events? The answer is that we need to use something called a meta query. So check this out. Let's add another argument. So comma. New line and the parameter is meta underscore querying then we are going to set that to equal and array within the array. Parentheses. I like to drop down to a new line. And the reason we give meta query an array is because we are allowed to give it multiple conditions or things to check for. So what I'm about to type is gibberish. You do not need to type this, but for example we could say only retrieve posts where the day is the fifth day of the month and we could combine that with another filter. We could say only show us posts where it's the fourth month of the year. We could filter on another filter only in a certain year. So you get the idea, you can string together multiple filters or things that you're checking for. So that's our top level array that we're giving meta query dot but then each one of those things that we're checking for should be an array of its own. I know this is getting confusing but stick with me. Basically, what I'm asking you to do is net one array inside another array. Right? So maybe in this one we say only show us events from the fifth day of the month and then we have another array that says only from a certain month or a certain year. Now, in our case we only need one inner array. Right? Because we only need to check for one thing we want to say only return posts if the event date is greater than or equal to today's date. Right? Because that would mean the event is on today or in the future. 
we don't want to show any past events. Dot so within our inner array, you know me, I like to drop down to a new line in between the parentheses and we just need to give this inner array a few key parameters. Dot so the first one is key. And let's set that equal just x as a temporary placeholder. We will circle back to that in just a few seconds. Let's also give it another parent named compare. Set that equal a temporary placeholder as well. And for now the final parameter is value. So now we just use these three parameters to basically create a sentence in plain English. That makes sense. So let's say only give us posts if the key. The key is the custom field. So only if event date is greater than or equal to. Right? That's our comparison operator for compare. So on this line we'll say greater than or equal to today's date. Right? So today is the value that we're looking for now in PHP. A very easy way to get today's date. The current date is just to call a PHP function named date. And then you tell it what kind of format you want to return. So uppercase Y for year and then lowercase M and D for the month and day representations. Now this line of code will work. But I think it would be cool if we could literally say value equals today. Right. Then anyone can look at that line of code and understand what it means. So let's go ahead and set the value parameter to look for the value of a variable name today and then maybe up here on a new line right above our custom query. Let's just create that variable named today and set it to equal the date function of PHP and tell it to return uppercase Y lowercase M D as I'm filming this, it's the 28th of June of 2017. So this would return 2017 -0628. And that's the same date format that our custom field stores the date at. Cool. So altogether in plain English only show us posts where the event date is greater than or equal to today's date. Now this code will work but it never hurts to tell WordPress what type of values you're going to be comparing. Dot so why don't we go ahead and add one more parameter here named type. And let's set that equal numeric. Right? Because we are comparing numbers. Okay, now before I save this we will know if it works as soon as I save it. This June 1st item should disappear. Right? Because it's in the past. Dot so let's save this code. Jump back to the website. Perfect. That event is gone. And that's actually going to bring this lesson to a close. I know this example. Was oddly specific right? Dealing with the past, present and future. And if you didn't understand this specific example, 100%. That's okay. Just wanted to introduce you to this idea of ordering by something other than the published on date. Right? We are ordering by a custom field and then the other takeaway. Point for this lesson is that we can use meta queries to really have fine grain control over searching for particular values. These are big concepts that we are going to practice and use again and again as we build out the program's professors and campuses portions of the website. In our next lesson, we will take a look at the events, view all archive screen and we will make sure that this screen also doesn't show events from the past. We will also learn how to create a separate page entirely named past events that only shows events from the past should be a lot of fun. Let's keep things rolling and I will see you then.